Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekend predictions reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Spell. I'm a psychic medium and a spirit channel. I've got lots of videos on my channel regarding channeling as well as tarot readings. So if you like that, I'll put some playlists up here for you that you can have a look at. I've got marriage here. Marriage is a contract. It's an agreement between you and another or you and some others. It could also literally be a new relationship. So let's look forward and see what else this is here. Tell me more about marriage for my Aquarius. Um, okay, we've got false person, which means something hidden, like the moon energy, a uh, hidden ending. All right, so we're some kind of hidden ending. All right, transition, this new agreement, but there is something behind the veil happening that spirit wants you to take note of. Let's look for, forward into this spirit. Tell me more about false person for my Aquarius. This could be a negotiable reunion. Uh, so this could be a relationship or a marriage and someone wants to come in and reunite or see you again or get together with you again. All right, you know, they're like, well, I'd like to see you again. Let's see how, you know, if we can work on this marriage or relationship again, negotiable reunion. But this is hidden. It's a hidden energy. Spirit, tell me about the coffin for my Aquarius. What does this mean? Thief. Okay, so thief is taking something away and that indicates a change or an ending of some sort. Spirit, tell me more about this. What happens at this reunion? What happens at this reunion for my Aquarius? Uh, hands are tied to Page of Cups. Page of Cups is a fantasy and a dream and our feelings are changing. However, our hands are tied. So that's why it's negotiable. I feel that this is someone trying to come back um, to have a relationship with you. You've got marriage there. However, um, it's it's something that is a bit of a secret with false person and your hands are tied in regards to this dream that you, you have in regards to this reunion. Maybe they're dreaming, they're really wanting to, they've had a change of heart and they want to come back, but you're kind of like, my hands are tied right now, I can't. Tell me about the thief card with the coffin for my Aquarius. We've got a pending decision. Now, two of swords means two swords, one cuts something out and the other one is clarity that that's the way you want to go. So it's really a decision, you know, that you're going to keep one and let go of the other. And that's why the thief is there. It's about um, leaving one behind, okay, and moving on to a fresh start because the coffin indicates something needs to end in order for you to go this way. So let's clarify the marriage card. Spirit, tell me more about marriage for my Aquarius. What is a marriage? We've got six of wands which is marriage the marriage card tell me more about six of wands for my aquarius what does this mean for aquarius lord is is either a homeowner or a boss someone who's doing very successfully at work someone who's like uh, an emperor energy someone who's in charge and in control very respected in society Tell me more about this for my Aquarius. What do they need to know? What is your guidance for Aquarius? We have family, happiness, okay, five of wands, uh, five of swords and the king of cups. King of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy could be but doesn't have to be. A king of cups is someone who is in charge of their emotions, okay? The king of cups is like the father figure to the ten of cups, okay? Um, but doesn't have to be, but can be. And five of swords means that we might be feeling a bit victimized. You may not want to hurt this king of cups. The king of cups may be very emotionally connected to you and you may be really happy with them. However, you feel that to 
to, um, you know, to be here in this situation, it would be the Five of Swords. So this could be a third party reading where you're kind of stuck between two. You don't want to hurt one. That's why your hands are tied. But then again, you really kind of like the other one and they really want to reunite with you, but you kind of can't. So let's go ahead and see what Radley Valentine's Angel cards have to say. They say yes. Yes to what, Spirit? Yes to what for my Aquarius? What would you like to say? Yes and yes. How clear is that? If you asked a question, the answer is yes. A resounding yes times two. So Spirit is very clear on a yes and a yes. All right. Yes to what? Let's go ahead and ask the Romance Angels. What is this yes to for my Aquarius? What is this yes to? Ooh. To the reunion. All right. That's not me. That's, that's what came out in the cards. That's not me, Aquarius. So... That is literally the cards talking, okay? Don't take my advice. Always think first and go with your heart and listen to, to you, to your higher guidance, okay? Don't ever listen to a reading. This is just, um, you know, it's a reading. So you can't base your life on a reading. I just want to say that because these... These cards were very specific. So let me know how this resonates, what this means to you. And as always, Aquarius, I send you lots of love, peace and light. Bye for now.